and welcome to another video. It's really nice and sunny today but it is September and the sun is gradually going away and being replaced by rain. So our problem with climate change is that it is actually happening and it is getting really really wet and horrible. Now the problem with the rainy days is that little car gets really affected. It's not like a power retractable hard top where the water can run off to the outside of the car. The drainage for the soft top is actually sort of internal to the car. Now it has two little drain holes which I'm going to try and find in a minute inside the car that get clogged up. They get clogged up because dirt and debris falls onto the soft top and that gets washed into the drain holes and it just sits in there sort of like mouldy old compost. That then means that the water when it rains also sits in there and can't get out which means that the water turns the metal into rust. Now it's a really bad design flaw they must not have that much rain in Japan but every now and again you have to clean these drain holes out. Now I've been postponing doing this because I've not had the tool to do it. The tool is called a trombone brush for cleaning like the the musical instrument the trombone. So what I'm doing today is a precautionary measure before we get into winter which is going to be to clean out these drain holes to make sure that no water sitting in there and rotting away the sills in my lovely MX-5. So before it starts raining again let's go and do it. So as far as I'm aware the only piece of equipment that you need to do this is a trombone brush which looks like this uh, and when I unwrap it it will spring out straight. And we're going to half open the roof and then just there is that drain hole, the one right in the middle of the screen right now. You have to poke the trombone brush through there. What I'm going to do as a test is just pour a little bit of water down there and see if it comes out the bottom. So yeah, it is dripping out, which is good. On the instructions it says your trombone should be cleaned thoroughly at least once a month, so um, I'm ready trombone. Okay, so I'm going to try and put the brush down here and not scratch my paint. That's the main thing. And try and find this hole which it hasn't gone down at the moment. Oh. Okay, so that's gone in now. You just need to get the right angle of the dangle. And then now I'm going to thread this all the way through and it should pop out underneath. It is stiff there though. I think there's a bit of a blockage. It makes a horrible noise as well. Go okay, we're past the blockage, which I do believe was it actually coming out. So if I keep pushing this, you should see it pop out. There it is. So that is it there. You see all the gunk that's on it? Ugh. So what I'm going to do now is just pull that all the way through and do that a couple of times on each side. Second time for the driver's side, it seems to get stuck at the same point every time. So what I'm doing is I'm just twisting it and pushing it at the same time. That seems to clear the blockage. Ah, much less junk on it this time, which is good. Can you see where that comes out? If you can't see it then, I'm sorry I didn't bring a torch. Okay, so now I'm going to do the passenger side. A little bit of water down on this side to help the brush get through. Oh, look at that, perfect pour. Yeah, a bit of a puddle now. If you're struggling, it's sort of like down and right towards the centre of the car. And once you get it, you can see it through that tiny bit there. You can see it going through the hole. So that one's just popped out now. They're actually a lot cleaner than I thought they were, which is always good. There's actually more junk on the second one than there was on the first one. And here goes the third time for the passenger side. You can see how much easier it's going in now. Oh, I can't reach that. Oh, there we go. So there's one behind each seat, one behind the passenger seat, one behind the driver's seat. And then there's also one inside the fuel filler cap, which if you didn't know on a Mazda is open from inside the cabin. And there is the third drain hole, which I can pretty much tell you is going to be blocked. Well, this car is actually minimum 95 run. You can't run it on less than that, which is lucky because in the UK here, I believe everything is over 95 run. Goodbye. Explore. I wonder where this one's going to come out. Oh, nowhere because it's got stuck. Let's pull that out. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, that had loads of junk in it. You can see on the end. And this one pops out from that little hole just there. Second time for the fuel filler flat. Now this was a very good tool then, so I'll put a link in the uh, bottom of the video where you can buy one if you've got an MX-5 and need to do the same thing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. The cars are slightly more prepared for winter now than it was before. There was a little bit of blockage in those drain holes, but um, definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's good practice to do that every now and again, just to clean out any debris that's in there. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you very soon. Cheers.